Evan like, yo, Joker's good. Word? All right, bet. Yep. I feel like Joker's that one DLC that everyone's just like, hey, this is the DLC that's actually good. Mm -hmm. Not Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant was not DLC. Piranha Plant was a gift to us, and we need to appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> fair but, enough. Fair enough. But I don't know. I feel like Rastal will play Sonic, but, you know, everyone's, everyone wants to have that Joker just because Joker's good. And Joker's a yeah. fun character. Joker's like that one character where, if, like, if you want, like, a jack-of-all-trades, like, high-tier kind of character, you know, mm -hmm. that, like, that, like, for 30 seconds becomes, like, a top tier, then you pick Joker. Yeah. So Giga going to be going in, but actually not getting damage onto Wrath yet. Kikaman went to that Pharaoh for, uh, on the Rebel's Guard, but not actually going to hit it. The Arena and the Neutral get up. Throw him away. Looking for that negative option and not going to be able to quite find it. But Love Kiko, up. Yeah, Kikaman just finding again these down tilts just to poke him, but not getting much off of them, unfortunately. I love how patient Wrath is being on the stage right now. He's not trying to go around, throw out a lot of hitboxes. But right now, Kikaman actually find his, found his opening. He's able to juggle him. Right. I love the up B attempt. You know what? Let's, how many times are we going to do this? Three. <laughs> he three the times. Run back area. Look how much damage he took. He went from like 40% to like 120. Yep. Kingman did not mind if he tech. He's like, I'm either getting the stock or I'm getting damage. Yep. I mean, when you don't have a, a hitbox on your up B, you no. Know, yeah, you got to go for that back air. Early up B. Not really what Kingman wanted, but he can take that. All right. And again, Ooh, looking for that dash attack, but not going to be able to find it. Looking for the roll in, but dashing a little bit too quickly. So now Kikaman has Wrath on the on the ledge up air, almost going to take it. All right. But now we're going to be, yeah, throwing out the down guns. It's such a such a safe way to get him to to land right. if they're going above you because you have to respect that. Right. But once they get like past you, it's decent to try to call out, but I'm not sure really. I mean, it's one of those things where like, if you do it and you're like not directly below them and they can like dash out of the way, then yeah, that can be like super punishable. True. So right now, uh, Wrath has Kikaman on the ledge. F smash, missing the ledge again. Ooh, that's, that's the second time that up E's caused Kikaman to lose a stock, unfortunate. Yeah. Ooh, I like oh, going for that uh, fair. Yeah, just going for the short Rebels guard, actually. All right. Oh, going only for Dance Blade 1 and 2 for a mix-up, but Wrath immediately calling it out with right. the Neft tilt of his own. Ooh, quick back air out of shield and looking for another one, but not going to be able to quite find it. Yeah, already lap Kikum in percent. That counter going to do a lot of damage. Wrath looking to close this out right now before this Rebel Guard runs out, but I don't think he's going to get it. Yep. This is the Kikum in's time to shine. He needs to get this edge guard. Yep. Not going to be able to quite find it. Finds a fair looking for the edge guard. Oh, I love the idea going for the dancing blade. We just needed to hold it a second longer. All right. I feel like he he needed to get a hit on shield first to bring it down that little bit before yeah, the shield breaker. Yeah, going for like maybe that short hop nair charge the uh, the oh. shield breaker. Yeah. Dak oh. back here. So much knockback. It's yeah. so surprising too. Every you look at the move and you see how fast it is. You're like it shouldn't have that much knockback. Then you get hit and you're like this is an okay move. Yep. So keep him in. Get him I, I think it's like Joker's best move. Oh, definitely. Uh, it's so good. Has so much knockback. And then when you have Arsene active, it ooh. just hits like a truck. So Kikaman going to drop that first game. Not looking too bad. You saw that point where he, like, ran off and just kept up being. And he got so much damage from it. Mm. Definitely, I feel like if he can get that, that edge guard situation, you know, hit Joker before he, like, snaps to ledge with an up B, you know, he might be able to take the stock and potentially the game. So game two, we're going to be going over to town. A bigger blast, uh, a bigger stage to work on. Not going to die off the top as early, but off the side, just, you know, a little bit smaller. Right. And Lucina is that character you see kill really from anywhere, but you usually see, see her kill off the side with the F smash, with the neutral B, with the dancing blade, a lot of these things, and with edge guarding. So I understand this pick. All right. And again, Joker trying to find his way in the neutral, but just empty hopping. Wow. You saw Kiko Man like dashing in and be like, okay, he's probably going to roll in, but unfortunately not going to be able to quite punish it. Yeah, you saw it just look like he wanted to read the tech roll in. And once he got it, he's like, I don't like the positioning. I want to see if I can get past it before I can get this punish. And that's right. what you see a lot of like low level players do. They're like, I have the read, but I don't have the positioning I like, so I'm going to reposition myself. So I'm just going for the read. All right. And sometimes it's true you need to reposition yourself. Right. I feel like with Lucina, you can just dancing blade uh, backwards, you know, and then like get the punish that way, you know? That's true. Ooh, gets a quick Ars uh, Aegon. Mm. Oh yeah. my gosh, has him in the, on the ledge right there. It's so scary with Arsene because you one wrong move and you're literally going to die. Yeah. That Aegon, like, with Arsene does, like, 20%, and it's just so, so ridiculous. ridiculous. Like that fair, that did so much knockback. Yep. That was so. I like the idea of going down for the counter, and I honestly thought that would have 
hit, but I forgot the fact that uh, it's invulnerable on like the first active frames. All right. You know, the funny thing is that because of, like, you can't counter certain recoveries. Like, you can't counter Game & Watch recovery because Game & Watch is invincible on startup. And so Joker will actually get hit by Game & Watch before, like, the counter will come out. Mm -hmm. And so Joker gets punished for countering it. It's ridiculous. So it's one of the best counters in terms of, like, size and, like, kill power. Uh -huh. But it's just that little startup animation beforehand. Uh, if you have, like, a good, like, invincible move then, or, like, a move that, like, gets you, like, above and past it like really quickly then it's kind of hard to punish with it you know oh my god reading that uh reading the neutral situation with that up smash kick him and actually gonna take the the stock revenge not too much damage but now uh now wrath coming in with the aggression gets a couple of up airs yeah. and again kiko man trying to find his grab he gets it and oh goes to the short hop up here i think he wanted right. a full hop but just not timing it just right all right he managed to get a couple of hits in, you know, manages to swing before the, the guns came out. Going for that neutral, he's going to get punished with the down smash. Oh, trying to read the neutral, get up back air, not going to kill just yet, but look how much, look how close it was to killing. You really can't survive another one of these. All right. And, oh, reading the back air. I'm not going to lie, I definitely would have been horrified in that situation. I was like, he can cover everything, I just need to time this right. All right. Yet again, Joker. Ooh, running. Yep, he should be out and Oh, we're trying to hit him with the with the up V. Alright. Ooh, I, I liked what he was trying to go for there, like trying to read the roll away, but yet again, wow, double spot dodge in the jab. Oh, landing with the with the uh, shield breaker again. Oh, go see up smash again, but Wrath not gonna fall for that one again. That was a hit me once, uh you got me the second time. No, we're not getting hit by those. And I like what Wrath is doing. He's stopping just outside of shield breaker range because he knows that Kiko Man likes to go for that for landing. Because if he runs up in shield, then he gets hit by that. Mm -hmm. he tries to land with the fair again. Neutral air dodge, still going to get stuffed out by the grab before he can even land. 75%. This is nearing when Ke uh, when Joker's going to be able to get that kill. And you look at that, and you need one more hit, and Arsene will be out and active, ready to play. Gibbons really going to have to worry about taking this stock before Arsene comes out. All right. Or, or taking it out like as it comes out. Mm -hmm. But Persona. Ars yeah. He's alive. Oh, we're going to tech that. Oh, goes for the one out back air. Yeah. Keeman definitely didn't have the position right there when he went for the uh, back air. But right. going for it anyways. Ooh. Yeah, calling that one out hard. Right. Now 109% on Kikaman. But the way we've been seeing Kikaman get these juggles, you know that if he gets one hit, he's going to be potentially get, getting 60%. All right. Back air I mean, almost can take it. At this point, if he can just get one, like, edge guard, then, like, he can take the stock. But... Back here, oh, not going to be able to I don't to know if he has a jump. It. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he definitely needed to, like, air dodge in if he wanted to have any hope of surviving that one. Rap's right. going to take that too. Oh, still.